Okay, so I started this recording after I spent the last hour doing jelly printing with old stamps that I, well, I say old, but it's in this cycle of Carb December. I have this one that's the half one. I have this one that was a two by two square, but I got so distracted by trying to keep this stuff out of the way that I cut it off and decided that these were more useful to me in some other way I will show you in a minute. And then I have this heart right here that I am crazy about. It was from a drawing that I showed you in a previous recording. So I have scrap paper from printing off something that didn't go well. <laughs> go figure. Um, so what I did was is I printed over this. Let me put this out of the way. This is my Epson not printing properly. So I decided to take what I made and do jelly prints with it. Now this is the same print as this, exact same piece of paper I think, and I just took black ink and stamped right over it. It gave me color. Uh, who cares? It's cute. What a way to use scraps, right? Here's like print on the back side. All right, so then these are my two pieces here. I think I used this one because it's the filthiest. So I took this one and started from the bottom and then turned it around and stamped with this like that. Just turned it back and forth, back and forth. And look what I got. I really, I think I don't give scraps enough credit or respect that they're due. <laughs> so there's that. All right, so some of this other stuff I stamped since I sat down to do this. Let me see, this one with this, you know, back and then turned around and done this way. Save space in the drawer if you only do half a thing and then you can switch it back and forth. Yes, it's a little more time consuming when you jelly print back and forth, but it's fine. I don't do large prints anyway. 
and there's this one that did not go well at all and I will take black stamps and go over this one. This is one I did with the heart where it's a gold color just on white scrap paper. I hate wasting my paper because, you know, stuff's not cheap anymore. This is the half of the um, circle. This one's just a roll-off page that's going to get stamped on. This is not exactly what I was hoping for where I put stamp. It's a... Oh, it's this one. And it did not go well. So I'll end up stamping something on top of this. This is a cleanup page. I just rolled gold over it. And there's the hearts again. Here is this one before I cut out the center so it looks like this. And then this. And I hated this spot right here because in some of the prints it's like scratchy and looks ugly. So I thought, well, let's just get rid of it. So I did. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, here's these. I really like these. So I took this stamp along with one under hiding on the paper here with this, with this one that's just lines and then did it like this. There's that. Uh, let's see, I've showed you these already. This is a stamp that I cannot find on my desk. Oh, Marcy. Oh, Marcy. I am so messy. Okay, here's one I did. I think it was like the first day. It's got like a starbursty thing in there. And then I flipped it over and gouged it out so it's a little more plain on the other side. So I got two for one. So what I did was I just took the jelly print and I turned it this way. Nope. Uh, yeah, I did. I turned it this way and just went up like this diagonally. So that's how it turned out. That was fun. I didn't, ex again, this was a leftover and it worked out fine. So don't get rid of your leftovers because they actually do make cool things. Here's the circle, half circle. And there's this one that really made me mad because it was so scratchy in the middle, like that. And so that's why I got rid of all the rubber in the middle because I didn't like it. These are all printed on scrap paper, so that's printing. This did not turn out as well as I'd hoped. Um, I just took this and randomly did it everywhere and I don't really like the way it turned out so it'll get a stamp over it. This one, the color was too light but I do like the way it looks and it's over again, scrap paper from printing. Here's the full circle, wait, let me get the other one from the back of it. Here's the full circle with a blue and a, a pale, why does that look funky there? Oh, it's because it is, there's paint here. Um, it's a pale green. What do they call this green? Pa paleo green? Paleo green? Okay. See, that's what I get for doing this and then not thinking about, oh, if I record, maybe I should have this stuff handy. It's not this one. Anyway, it's a very pale green with a blue over it. And what it did was it kind of changed it to a teal looking blue because it mixed with the green. It just didn't... I, I like the way it looks, but that was not the intent. This is random stamping of that little skinny one. You see the stamps? And then this one was just, this was roll off paper. And then I used this to do a mop up on an, from another print. These are all five by sevens. So don't discount your scraps. And if something doesn't turn out pretty, doesn't matter because you can stamp right over it. Like I'm gonna stamp over this one. I will probably stamp over that one. I might stamp over this one. I like these. These turned out fine. This is okay. This is okay. This, you, can, you can't see anything on it. It's got gold, so I'll stamp over that one. This one, was with a blue and a yellow, or a green and yellow, and look how dark it turned out. It's almost like it was black. 
not crazy about the color combo, but I will save it. Then I have the hearts with the gold. And this one is not exactly appealing to me, so I might probably stamp over this one too. This is a roll-off paper, no problem. I will stamp over that, stamp over that. I did not intend to use this darker green, but I still like it. Here's gold on white. And then, of course, this is what I started out the video with, is the stuff right here. So don't discount your scraps while you're doing Carve December because they really do add up to something that might surprise you when you put some scraps down. It, it is surprising how well they do turn out. I'm actually very surprised. I really like this. Not maybe I like the shapes. Not crazy about the colors, but I like the shape that it formed. I thought it was rather interesting. And if I had something small square from a year before, I might be able to plug that into those places there. Although they're not exactly all equal in shape because I wasn't precise because I was just playing around. But if I did it more precisely next time, I might be able to get consistency in all these right here and then find a small stamp that will fit in the middle there. So don't discard your leftover paper. Create a paper box that you've messed up your printing and look what you can do with it. You can print something over it. You can't tell what's underneath it. I mean, I know what's underneath it, but average person won't be able to tell. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, guys, um, this is it for the jelly printing for today. I'm not sure how many more videos I'm going to do. It's just whatever strikes me when it strikes me. So I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck with your jelly printing and your carving. Bye.